Well, I've had some questions uh, about patterns. So let's take a look here real quick. So like uh, patterns can be pretty simple. This right here was just a big circle and cut it out and now it's a fourth of a round pillow. So now what I'll do, I got the fur direction wrote on here. So you'll take and you'll put it here. Well, you'll put it like this and then like this, like that, like that. By the time you get done, when you go to do your pillow, it'll be one of those pillows and the fur will chase. So it'll go in a circle around it as opposed to crisscross each way. So it, it'll be really, really cool. Um, here's another pattern. This is just a 10 by 10 square. So this is just uh, for making pillows and things too. It's just some poster board from Dollar Tree. You know, you don't gotta get real fancy. I got cereal boxes here cut out that I've used for years. This right here, I mean, this is, this right here is probably a five-year-old piece of paper uh, cereal box. So this right here is for the, I always write everything on here. So it's for the eight inch top and this is the four inches wide version. So there'll be something like, here's my eight inch top, same container. So that'll be half of the hat like that. So these, this is a coon cap pattern. So there you go, like that. You can see it. But anyway, that, that'll be half of that. I said, you don't, you can get as fancy as you want. So this is about as fancy as I get. So this right here is a nine inch, for a nine inch uh, hat for the top of it. And just like you see in that coon cap, the eight inch. And this is a nine inch, five inch wide deep a uh, piece of plexiglass. So this will be half of the hat as well, like I showed you just a minute ago with the cereal box. And you'll be able to take this and you can cut around this really easily with uh, one of your uh, fabric cutting knives. So you just get get one of them roller knives and just, just zip right around it, lay it down. And the good thing is, the best thing with these is, is you can look at your fabric print. Like you can lay it down like this and if you want your camouflage pieces to line up a certain way, you can see right through this and you can make a little mark. You can slide it back and forth, up and down, and you can see right where you want to cut that piece of fabric out to get that prettiest piece to go inside your hat. Same with, same with the top. Um, it's really good. Here's a clear piece for the eight inch hat. It also has extra lines drawn on here, which I, I made a mess of it. So this right here was a whole nother project. I need to just wipe them down, but but you can draw on them, wipe it down, rewrite stuff back on there, take notes, whatever you gotta do with them. Uh, it, you know, here's another eight inch hat piece, uh, backup piece. Here are uh, ear flaps. One's a, one's a little bit bigger than the other. So you got uh, more like a kid size, adult size. Um, here's part of a mountain man hat. Ear flaps. More ear flaps, the bigger ear flap, smaller ear flap. So, um, back of the hat. And uh, here's a huge ear flap. Some people like their ear flaps, say just to cover their ears, they like them to go all the way up under their chin like that and really keep them warmed up. So, uh, we do have a, a oversized ear flap for people that like, people like that kind of thing. Another piece for the trapper hat. Um, here's a triangle. So on some of those beaver pillows you've seen before. So it'll be a square pillow, but we'll turn around and we'll put a triangle of fur going, going one way and a triangle of fur going the other way. And it just adds a really cool effect to it. And by the way, this is the uh, beaver blanket that you guys seen last week that, was, uh, that I was showing and stuff. I'm sitting at, so let me just give, show you that real quick. Uh, here on this panel. These are the panels here. So They're just they're just tacked together along here. Some of the repairs have been made and everything so Those will get the uh, the diamond shaped pieces for those who haven't seen yet. Let me just take you over here real quick so um, This is gonna be another project. So we got I did a bunch of rabbit hides there a while back tanned them up and these are the ones that the customer did not want back. So the customer took their pick. I got the leftovers. So not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. Um, maybe some earmuffs. Maybe 
pom poms for hats, maybe uh, a little a little quilted blanket. Of course, we'll have to you know we'll have to brush these out a little bit, but they'll be they'll be really nice. Here's another project over here. Uh, it's kind of one of those if you know you know. All right. So I don't want to explain this too much because yeah, y'all probably already know. But the thing is, you might not know. We're gonna put a zipper on that and we're gonna keep coins in it. So for a customer, uh, very cool, very unique thing to have. So, but we had to mold it because of the tanning process. This actually, as after it tanned and dried, you know, this was actually out to here. It lost about 20%, 20-30% and shrunk up. So I had to wet it, stretch it, form it. And now hopefully by maybe three or four days from now, this thing right here will be uh, dry enough where we can take it off. We'll get the zipper added onto there and everything. And they'll be in, she'll be able to have that back. So that's another cool piece. So we'll do a, we'll do some more we'll do another video on that maybe um when it's finished because i'm not a i'm not a real big on zippers so i don't want to throw a lot of curse words into my into my videos so we'll probably just have to that one we'll probably have to wait for so but anyway that's that's the update and a little bit about patterns so um i know i had i know i had some uh some questions about that before but there you go um I'm, we'll get we'll get into some more like i said we'll get into some more videos on it as it progresses so just keep an eye on it and and uh thanks for thanks for watching my channel i really appreciate you guys